Should you buy a new MacBook right now? It's my dilemma. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be one where we talk about should you be buying a new MacBook right now in the beginning of 2024? And I think I'm just going to kind of talk through my dilemma and maybe it helps people that are thinking about the same problems they're having right now. Should they buy one? Should they wait till March where the new kind of new MacBooks are coming out? So let's break it down and let's talk about it. All right, let me start off by saying these are first world problems. So take it with a grain of salt. These are not real huge issues. But being a small YouTube channel, I got 22,000 subs right now. Thank you very much. I need to buy Macs from time to time, so I'm kind of stuck now. I have some Macs I want to buy, and I actually don't know what to do right now. And I'm going to think through the process here. Now, I don't have a ton of money because of that. I'm not a huge YouTuber. I don't get sent free things, and I don't buy a whole bunch of stuff. I try to do my best, but I do have a ton of Macs here. But some of them are older, some of them are newer. But I do have some gift cards, believe it or not. What I did is I accumulated from birthdays and Christmas and everything else. I have about $1,300 in gift cards I want to use here soon. So this puts me in the dilemma where I want to go ahead and buy that new machine. I knew that I know the new ones are coming out, so what should I do? All right, as I grow the channel too, I want to go out of the office and do some video editing, just like I kind of told people before. Now, I have the M1 MacBook Air sitting right here. This is a great machine. Now, I want a little bit more power and a little bit bigger screen for this. So that's one of the reasons I'm looking into a couple different systems here, which we'll get into. But overall, this system's great. For most people, just to start a YouTube channel, it's more than you need. I just want to kind of set that straight. It's not that I need this. It's more of a want, kind of. But if I want to do this more full-time, I need something a little bit bigger and faster. All right, so here's the dilemma I have right now. And I, I've told a lot of people, never buy the upgraded 15-inch MacBook Air. It's not a good idea with the M2 because then you get into the MacBook Pro realm, right? I've told multiple people that on videos. And I kind of stick to that, but I didn't expect this. So Best Buy has some incredible deals right now on the 15-inch MacBook Air. It kind of meets my gift certificate range here uh, where I don't have to spend any of my own money. It can probably accomplish a lot of stuff that I needed to do. So here, let's take a look over here. I mean, take a look at this for now. So right now they're selling the, the base model. This is not the one I would get, but 15 inch, the Air M2 version, eight gigs of memory, 256 gig SSD, 300 bucks off for 9.99 at Best Buy right now. Now this may change when you look at this in a couple of weeks from now or whatever, but still, this is the price point you wanna aim for, 9.99, all right? This kind of blew me away. This is any color too, see this? It's the, it's the Starlight or any of the colors you can get in that. Now let's take a look at what I think is the one I'm looking at. All right, this is the deal you wanna get. It's the Apple 15-inch MacBook Air. Look at this, 16 gigs of RAM right here, 512 gigabyte SSD, $300 off, $1399. $1399 right there. Now the other one that I'm talking about, the 14-inch MacBook Pro, that's gonna be $1899, somewhere in that range. So now when I tell you never to buy this if you have to upgrade it, it changes the equation because now if you look at this, you can buy this basically for free upgrades. They're free upgrades right now. The only caveat to this whole thing, and it's a huge caveat, it only comes at midnight in this sale. All right, so here lies my problem, and again, first world problem, is I like to keep my, my Macs clean. I don't like putting skins or anything like that, you know, anything like that on them. And this midnight color is the worst fingerprint magnet in the world. That's why they're discounting it. It actually, you know, there's a couple things we'll get into in a second, but it's just really bad every time I see it. A lot of people talk about it, and obviously Apple's having a hard time selling it right now. That's the only one they're discounting. They maybe overproduce them. So I'm thinking about maybe getting this $13.99, great price, with my gift certificates. And then take a look over here. I'm putting maybe a D brand skin on this. Take a look how cool these are. So obviously I'm not affiliated with them at all. I'm just telling you I don't get any kickbacks right now. But I'm just thinking of it myself, and I'm going to ask you some questions. Here are some of the designs you can get. Look at this. There's some really cool ones in here, especially down here at the bottom, which if you just want plain white or plain gray, you can put it on there. And it's going to be a good skin over that kind of fingerprint, fingerprint magnet. But I have a couple questions for people. Post in the comments. Has anyone done this before? And a couple things. Is it really easy to line it up perfectly or is it a pain in the you know what? I've watched the videos. It seems easy, but it seems like it never is whenever they show you. And then number two, even more importantly, when you take this thing off, like I want to sell this thing in a couple years, is it easy? Does it ruin the finish of it? If you have experience of stuff like that on any of these MacBooks like this, tell me and post in the comments. All right, so here's the issue. Now, they're only discounting this version. I don't want this version, and the M3s are coming out fairly soon, and I think everyone's gonna be in the same boat right now. So the M3s, let's just take a step back. We know that they're gonna come out, but they're not gonna give this level of discount. In fact, Apple's not even discounting you know, anything but this exact midnight blue color. You can't even get that same deal in silver or any of the other colors, so it's only that one version, and I think Apple knows it. On top of that, I think the new M3 15-inch Air and 13-inch Air is gonna have a different coating, just like the black one that came out, Space Black. It's gonna have that same coating, so it's gonna probably get rid of a lot of the fingerprints. I think Apple's learned, at least I hope they have, that they're gonna be discounting this so much that they have to do something about 
about it. Maybe they'll take the color away in the next version, but I think they're going to add that layer of fingerprint, you know, kind of uh, whatever they did with the Midnight Black to make it a lot less. You tell me. I mean, that's the two things I'm up against. I need to decide if I should get this for this huge discount or wait for those two added options, you know, that are coming, but they're going to have the, the upgrades there as far as maybe a fingerprint, a non, or a fingerprint film that's going to be better for it so I can get that darker color. But the problem with that, too, is it's not going to be discounted then. In fact, like I said, they only discounted Midnight, so even if they do that, then those discounts won't be as strong, I think, on that version, especially since it's new. But even down the road, I don't think they're going to discount it as much as this one right now, at least as early. So this is the problem most people are up against. And here's an article from Mac Rumors. You can see it here. This is from Mark Gurman again. I keep hearing that guy's name. He's, he's right sometimes. But it says the current 15 and 13 and 15 inch Air will be launched this year, obviously. He's thinking it's going to be late March, he's saying basically here. And he's saying they're going to be both launched at the same time. They're going to kind of get in that same schedule. So, you know, he says 14 and 16 inch Pro have already been, you know, obviously updated. So they're not coming out, obviously. But he also doesn't mention the Mac Mini or the Mac Studio, which I think they might come out, but it could be also pushed back a little bit. So he's kind of telling us it's the end of March that this is all coming to a head. So can you wait this long? We have a couple months here, just like maybe two, two and a half months before we, this actually will come out. So it's, it's one of those things everyone's always stuck in between. All right, so talking it through, let's just break everything down and then we'll wrap up the video. So if you're looking for a 16 or a 14 inch MacBook Pro, and like the one I have showed you right here, the one I recommended always, 1849 right here on the screen, this is the best value of any MacBook you can buy right now, and I totally recommend it. The only reason I'm even considering the 15 inch MacBook Air and because I have the gift cards, but it's not only that, I would have spent the extra money for this, but now the gap is widened. Before when I added those extra features, it would have been 16.99, 17.99. Now it's only 13.99 for that version. $13.99, but it comes in a color I don't like. So we got to think this through. But if you want the 14 or 16 inch, buy now. The M3s are out. Don't have to worry about that. They're not coming out for probably another year, year and a half. So if that's what you want, you don't even have to think about it. Buy them right now. Deals are pretty good. $18.99. They're not going to get much stronger until next Christmas. Now, if you're looking for a desktop, and that's kind of why I'm thinking about the 15 inch also, because I might be considering a desktop also, like a Mac Mini, the Pro version, or even a Mac Studio later on. I do most of my video editing here. I have an iMac here, obviously. I have an iMac over there. So I don't really need anything here. That's why I'm thinking about that 15 inch. I don't need as much power because I don't travel that much or I don't go to the coffee shop that much, but it would be nice to have. But if you're somebody looking for a desktop, a Mac Mini, or a Studio, take a look here. There's some deals out there like this one. This is the Pro version, Mac Mini Pro. This is a 1169. You can see it right here. Um, so this is a great deal. I mean, it's got the Pro chip, 10 core CPU. What is it? Um, 16, 16 gigs of memory. So six, it's what is it? 130 bucks off or something. That's about as good as you're going to do. So if you're thinking about that, this is another dilemma because we don't know when this is coming out. It might come out in March, but according to German, he didn't mention it. So it could come out a couple months later. We just don't know yet. So you're going to take more of a chance. We know the air is probably coming out in March, but this one, we're not a hundred percent sure yet. So it's kind of in that area where, you know, you're not going to get the same deal. So if you're thinking about that desktop, especially the M2 Max version of the studio or an even M1 Max, those are such good deals right now. Pick those up if you don't want to spend a lot of money. But if you want to wait for the M3s, you can do that, but we're not guaranteed in the next couple months. All right, so we're kind of stuck in this little area where we always are with Apple, and that's what Apple likes. You always think that the next greatest thing is coming out right around the corner, and it is. I mean, every couple months, something new is coming out. You always buy something, and as soon as you buy it, it seems like it comes out the next day, and it always will. It's Murphy's Law for you. But I always say just if you need something right now, buy it right now. That's the key. Buy it if you need it. But right now, I would say if you are buying, you know, looking for an air, you're in a dilemma. You got to look like exactly what I just mentioned. Look at these deals. It's probably worth getting the M2 um, and just, you know, getting that much for, for a couple hundred bucks cheaper. It's just it's not going to be that big of a difference. We already know what the M3 is. We already know what the M2 is. It's already baked in. We've seen the differences. It's not going to be huge if you're going from that to that. So I think it comes down to cost and the deals you can get. Um, if you're going for the desktops, you know, obviously that's the other dilemma. But if you're going for something like a... Like let me just think, if you're going for the Pro version, we already know what they are, get them now. I don't think any sales will come until the end of the year, and that's kind of what I'm sticking to. But according to Murphy's Law, if you buy something today or tomorrow, it'll new version will come out the next day, Apple will announce it, and you're gonna kick yourself, but just don't worry about it. I mean, you're gonna be happy with any of these M3s, um, you know, put, put in the comments what I should do. You think it's worth the $13.99 to get just the 15 inch for doing some light, I mean, like you said, you see my videos, I'm not doing motion pictures, this is what I do, right? So I don't need, I don't really need the Pro, especially when I'm going to have maybe a studio or something like that in my office. So 
I might do that, spend none of my own money on the gift certificates, and I think a lot of people should do, you know, take that as, as well. Um, but if you really are a power user and you need a little bit more, it's always gonna be that 14 inch for about $18.99, which is the best deal out there. And we'll wrap this up. I hope this helps people. Just kind of talking through it. I know it's not the most, you know, mind bending kind of information or anything like that, but I'm just looking for a little help here. See what you guys think. That's a great deal, and I think most people shouldn't pass it up if they're looking for something like that. If you have to skin it, skin it. Not too bad, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.